Hello Zaniacs, I'm Lainey. And I'm Marshall. And today we're going to talk about East Coast Girls. This is a book I was given for review. Uh, I will put all the information down below if you're interested in checking it out. It is kind of more of a contemporary fiction book about four girls uh, who spent the uh, summer, summers, summers of their childhood um, on the beach. And uh, one of the last nights in high school, I think they were seniors in high school, they were coming back from a, a party while they were at the beach um, and something tragic happens to them. And so much so that uh, the boyfriend of one of the girls is kind of a, a non-functioning person. So you're trying to figure out exactly what happened to them. But at the same time, um, there are some, after 12 years apparently, there are some lingering feelings of trauma and other emotions that are happening to these girls. They decide to go back to the beach uh, for a weekend to really uh, just be together and deal with some of the things that happened, including one of the girls that they became estranged from. And. Uh, as the more details of the night unfolds, you begin to see a little bit more about what happened and why they behave the way they behave. Uh, before I go into what I thought about it, what are your first thoughts about this book? For a little while I was thinking you were describing I Know What You Did Last Summer, but then they all decide to get back together and, well, that sounds interesting. Well, not every book I read is a thriller. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know it looks that way, but no, uh, no. So, I mean, yeah, I gave it three stars, and the reason why I did is because uh, there was a really big lead into what happened that night, and when you finally find out what happened that night, it was a little bit of a letdown. I mean, I'm not, I'm not trying to downplay the severity of the actions that happened and how traumatic it was for these characters. But some of these characters are acting like really dramatically after something that happened 12 years ago that when you finally find out what it is, isn't necessarily as traumatic as to cause this reaction 12 years later. For at least one of the characters. I'm not going to say that happens for all of them. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> I mean... That's kind of why I gave it three stars. I felt like it wasn't, it wasn't as fully realized as it could have been in this case, but the story itself was very beautifully written. It was, it was very much about relationships and friendships and how people can be there for you your whole life. And I think that was what was really important about it. Uh, but you know, overall, because I look at it from kind of a thriller mindset sometimes, I felt like it wasn't as fully realized as it could have been. So that's what I will say. Um, if you don't really like care about the whole thriller aspect of it, or if you just like reading books because they're beautifully written, then definitely check this book out. And I will leave all that information for you below. So until next time, stay dating. Bye-bye.